guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Susie, it's nice to meet ya. Today, we are gonna be recreating celebrity outfits on my body. This hot piece of stuff right here. In particular, celebrity street style outfits. Now, I've noticed when I search celebrity style on Pinterest, I'm getting Bella Hadid, Zoe Kravitz, Zendaya. All girls who have a very different body shape and size to me. I'm an Australian size 14, a US size 10. So I thought it would be interesting to see what these outfits look like on a different body type. Also, if the fits are popping or if they're just popping because it's on Bella Hadid. Even though Bella Hadid is basically my twin. But I'm gonna be recreating all these outfits on a budget. I don't even wanna know how much these outfits cost. I assume they're all probably designer pieces. So everything I've picked out is from Princess Polly and they also are kindly sponsoring this video. But I will not be telling you I like an outfit if I don't. This is gonna be all of my honest opinions. We could have some hits, we could have some misses. I'll also tell you guys all of the outfit names and they'll also be in the description box. And Princess Polly have kindly given us a code. So if you love any of these items, you can use code SUSIE20 for 20% off. I'm literally wearing Princess Polly right now. I wear them all the time, absolutely love their pieces. And I feel like their sizing range is a lot better than other brands. This is also gonna be my first time trying on any of these items. So I have six celebrities to recreate their outfits today, but first up is Queen Bella Hadid. She is 100% the trendy fashion icon at the moment. So without further ado, let's try it on. My name is Bella Hadid. Okay, I need to take this face mask off because I am getting COVID flashbacks. These sunglasses are actually an old pair I have from Princess Polly. If they're still available, I'll link them down below, but if not, I'll link a similar pair. So these are the Cayman pants in beige, and this is the stunt racer tank in ivory. I feel like these pants are almost spot on. They also have pockets. You can hear me coming from a mile away, but it's worth it because I think these are so cool. They are a high-waisted compared to the ones she's wearing, but I figure I can just roll them over. I'll cut off the tag. Suddenly, we're mid-rise. So I could not for the life of me find a lacy top like she had, but I love this top as well. I feel like it still matches the vibe, you know, it's like the tank. I haven't bought a mirror for my new house yet, so we're just gonna be looking at myself in my phone. Okay, I really like this outfit. I would 100% wear this out. Shut up with the belly peeking out. Ooh, love a little belly. Because of the sunglasses and the top not exactly matching, I would say I gave it like a 7.5 out of 10 for accuracy, but for cuteness, 10 out of 10. The graphic on the top is like a super cute little vintage looking moment. It's like a ribbed stretchy material. I feel like her pants were a little bit more oversized, but also I'm working with thicker thighs here. So I'm used to that with oversized pants. Oh my God. I've just realized something. What? They zip, they zip open at the bottom. <gasps> I love that. I had no idea. But I think this outfit slays and I am impressed. The next outfit inspo is from Zoe Kravitz, and I'm wearing the Bedany tube top in blue and the recycled fibers Jodie maxi skirt in black. Love that it's recycled fibers. Looking at this outfit, I would say this is the most my style out of all of them. I would happily wear a long flowy skirt any day of the week. Most comfortable piece of clothing for summer. Obviously it's not exact because she is wearing like a singlet with straps and this is strapless, but I think I like this one more. And also she was wearing thongs. I'm wearing these sandals. They are also from Princess Polly, but I'll talk about them later. This might be my favorite outfit out of all of them. I'd be surprised if anything topped this. I'm so excited that I got this tube top because I rarely find a tube top that I can comfortably wear without a bra, but I can say the girls are feeling very secure right now. This is going so well. I also love the feel of this skirt. It's like a linen-y kind of feeling material, super light, super comfy, and I love a skirt that I can actually walk in comfortably. So nice and flowy. I don't feel like I have to walk around like this, like a little penguin. We are really having our mid-rise moment today and I love it. Don't be scared of wearing mid-rise if you don't have a flat stomach. 
And you do not have to fit an exact body type to be able to try out a trend. Trends are for everyone. I feel like the shape of this outfit is so flattering. It doesn't have a stretchy waistband. It's a little zip up, but it does fit like a looser fit on me. So I can pull it down for a mid rise, but make sure you're using the sizing guide on Princess Polly. If you really wanted the top to be waist hugging, I would probably size down on it because this is like a comfortable, relaxed kind of fit at the moment. But I do think we've hopped off on this outfit. Okay, this next outfit is Matilda Jerf and Murray's just woken up, but he's in his undies. Murray, what do you think? Nice. You like it? It's cool. I don't know if people consider Matilda Jerf a celebrity. I probably would, because I feel like she has taken the fashion world by storm. The people can't get enough of Matilda Jerf's style. But this technically is the only one that's not street style. It's actually just an Instagram photo. She's so iconic. I just had to recreate one of her looks. So this is the Giddings cargo maxi skirt in beige and the my top in black. And the belt is Princess Polly as well. It's the recycled PU Chapman belt black gold and the Adelia shirt in white. Now I've had to do a bit of a DIY moment with this because this skirt is actually supposed to be low rise and it doesn't have belt loops. So it's kind of just balancing on top of the belt right now, but it really wants to go down. We've got another tube top. I've really been going off on these tube tops and this one's more tight fitting than the last. It's a bit of a thicker, woolier knit material. This is so not an outfit I would pick out myself. But I feel really cool right now. I feel way cooler than when I try to dress myself. I've been wanting to try one of these cargo skirts for so long. Love, love, love them. And I am so obsessed with this one. I am gonna wear this all the freaking time. It's nice and loose as well. Super soft and comfortable. I thought this was just gonna be like a normal dress shirt, but it's like a very light corduroy kind of material. All of these pieces are gonna be so easy to wear with other items. The belt is escaping. I'll show you guys what the skirt looks like without the belt on. The skirt actually is like a low waisted and it does zip up at the back. So it's not got a stretchy waist or anything. And it has this tie up at the front. You could like tie it around the back or the way that the girl was wearing it in the photo was just tied at the front like this, which I also think is super cute. I actually really like it low waisted. So cute. I'm discovering so many new styles that I can wear. Can you guess who I am? Baby, 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 oh. You guessed right, I am Hailey Bieber. I also did not realize that you would be able to see my boobs and I really can't be bothered like doing the whole taping them thing. So we're just gonna see my bralette. So for Hailey Bieber, I picked out the Steinway mini dress in black. These are the organic cotton Ready Player One socks and the shoes are the Capri loafers in black. That's what it looks like with the sunglasses on. I would say Hailey Bieber's style is probably my least favorite out of everyone. Please don't hate me. Everyone has their personal opinions. Most of the things she wears, I just wouldn't see myself wearing. This outfit was a big gamble for me because I saw this and I was like, oh my God, what is going on with the cockatoos? First thing I'm gonna say is I didn't quite realize the logistics of this dress. I'm gonna have to protect my piece a little bit here because probably something I should be wearing with like a little black skirt underneath. For accuracy, this dress is like almost an exact match to the one that she wore. I do really like the adjustable waistband that it has. Not sure if I would wear the loafers with this dress. And unfortunately, I really like the loafers, but they're a little bit too small for me, which is my fault because typically I get like a size eight in open toe shoes, but because of my big ass toes, I get a size nine in closed toe shoes and I got a size eight in these and they are too small. But I do have another pair of Princess Polly loafers that I absolutely love. These ones right here and these fit me perfect. They've got like the chunky heel. Oh, and these are a size eight as well. Okay, well, these must be a smaller fit shoe then. So if you have wide feet like me, would highly recommend these ones. But I do feel like a boss lady in this dress. And she's very flattering. Like the waist is cinched right now. And this final outfit is Lori Harvey. She is also another street style queen that I see a lot of her pictures pop up. And I actually had no idea who she was, but she's Steve Harvey's daughter. I'm wearing the same shirt that I did for Matilda Jerf. And this is the Kiki bralette in white. The recycled fibers blend holly asymmetric straight leg jean light wash denim. That was a tongue twister. 
And these are the sunglasses that I actually bought for this specific outfit, but I have been wearing them the whole time. But these are the Satara sunglasses in Tort, and I really, really like these sunglasses. I love a big cat eye. Princess Polly has some super cute sunglasses. And this outfit, I would really like, but unfortunately, we've got the gap the dreaded gap at the back, which honestly happens to me with so many jeans. It's the curse of having a bodacious bottom and a skinny little waist. No, I'm kidding. I just have thick thighs. So I need to go to like a size 14, but often it doesn't fit me at the back. And unfortunately that's the case with these, but I can get them adjusted. If they fit me, I would love them. I think the wash is so cute. They're also like a really nice, thick jean as well. But yeah, if you're a curvier girl, they might not be the best fit on you. However, this bralette, I love. I was wearing it with the Hailey Bieber dress just before. This is so cute. Like it's got the little scalloped detail and it does have clips on the back. I've done it on the tightest clip and adjustable straps, but this is like so comfy. It doesn't have an underwire or anything. Just like a nice, comfy, stretchy material. And I was in need of a good bralette, so I'm very excited to have this one. A lot of the time with bralettes, they just do not keep my boobs up. It's just like putting a piece of fabric and laying it on my boob. But this one is actually supporting them a little bit. It's definitely not a high support item, but it's keeping them in. But yeah, this one was a little bit of a fail, unfortunately. But if it fit properly, I feel like I would be really into this outfit. Okay, we're at the final outfit and I did not forget about Miss Kenny J. I did take a bit of creative integrity with this one. It's probably the least accurate to all of the outfit, but this is the weighty cargo vest top in bone, the archer pants in black, and the recycled PU Blend Mabel sandals in cream. Princess Polly's tailored pants are some of my favorite. I feel like they just kill it every time. Like the waist, if those jeans had the same waist as this, they would have been the butt. The butt is popping off. So I absolutely love the pants and they also have pockets. I was wearing Princess Polly tailored pants before. I cannot get enough of them. And okay, these sandals are not exact. I just wanted to get a pair of nude sandals, but I love these sandals. I feel like a brat stole in these. Super platform block toed sandals. These are adorable and they're so comfy and easy to walk in as well. They're not too heavy, which I find with platform sandals sometimes. I can walk a mile in these Louboutins. The collar's kind of trying to slap me in the face right now, but I feel like it's probably because the way it was folded in the bag, but I could easily just like iron this down. This friggin' top, I would never pick this top out, but how cute is this top? I do kind of need to wear it with bra, so I'm just wearing the bralette from before, but you can just kind of like tuck it in. I definitely would not wear these sandals with this outfit, but like this outfit with a little pair of boots, top notch, top tier. However, these sandals with anything else, amazing. And that was our last celebrity outfit. Please let me know in the comments down below which your favorite was. I think my favorite has to be Zoe Kravitz. I probably will wear that outfit tomorrow. I feel like we had so many wins in this haul. The Matilda Jerf outfit as well also hit so hard, except for the belt moment. Other than that, that's probably my second favorite. Also, sorry about the fact that it's dark now. It took me so long to film this video that the sun set. <laughs> I think the most accurate was probably the Hailey Bieber. That Hailey Bieber dress was almost exact. But this went so well. I have so many new cute outfits to wear. I'm so excited. And as I said before, I'll have all of the links for the outfits from Princess Polly in the description box. And if you do want to shop any pieces, don't forget to use code SUSIE20 for 20% off. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and also subscribe and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.